I want to uh, shift to the other side of the world because you're just back from the mm -hmm. Syrian border. Uh, you were in Turkey. Uh, you talked to people over there. Syrian army this morning, we're told, is uh, again shelling the mm -hmm. city of Homs. When you uh, had a uh, little news conference over there uh, with our Clarissa Ward, uh, you said something. Well, I would just want to play what, what you told her. Well, I think it was a failure from the start. Most of us knew because there was no uh, pressure for Bashar Assad to actually stop the killing. So we think it's going to require military action on the ground in order to get him to leave. So I want to give you a chance to uh, sure. talk about that. Absolutely. Are you talking about sending American troops well, of course in there? Not. I, you know, I have said, and Lindsey Graham and Joe Lieberman and I have said continuously, no boots on the ground, no unilateral action. But for the United States to sit by and watch this wanton massacre is a betrayal of everything that we stand for and believe in. Uh, so what do we do? So we, uh, along with other countries, and we lead for a change. Lead, not, not lead from behind, but lead from in front. Over there, they are waiting for American leadership. Uh, we have announced that we are now providing them with non-lethal equipment. That doesn't do very well against tanks and artillery. We met with the Free Syrian Army leadership. We met with the Syrian National Council. In the refugee camps, we heard the stories of the murders, of the torture, of the rape that's going on. And Kofi Annan's proposal, by the way, among other things, if it were enacted, does not call for the removal of Bashar Assad. And I th uh, the, the president's uh, policy is supposed to be the removal of this of this massacre uh, of his own people. So we need to get a sanctuary w uh, for the Free Syrian Army. We need to get them supplies. We need to get them weapons. And there are many ways to get weapons to them. We showed that in Libya. We showed it in Afghanistan and many other times. It's not a fair fight. It's not a fair fight. But, I mean, are, I, you, are so, you talking about somehow supplying them with tanks and, that, oh, and no, things but, of that but nature? But any tank weapons might be uh -huh. uh, very useful uh, for them. And what about and, troops on the ground? Of course not. Of course not. Of that any would, kind? Uh, uh, UN, uh, Arab? If, uh, I think we saw in Libya that there were other countries that did some work on the ground that are willing to do so.